All right, there's an article right over here. Elon Musk weighs in on Dragon Quest creator accusing American regulations of forcing removal of option to choose between male and female genders. Quote, this is insane. All right, man. So if you guys don't know, there's been a lot of Dragon Quest drama as of late because of the, you know, uh, body type A, body type B, male, female genders when you're choosing a character, right? Traditionally, in a lot of these video games, you can choose a male or female, but a lot of bitches and bitch dicks came into the industry and co-opted it and infiltrated it and ruined everything. And that's the reason why we have, opt you know, type A body and type B body. We know what that means, right? Because A is better than B, males, be males better than females. I'm only kidding just a little bit, right? But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and read this right over here. Elon Musk shared his thoughts on Dragon Quest creator Yuji Hori accusing American regulations of forcing the removal of the option to choose between male and female characters in Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. It was reported at the beginning of the month that the developer Square Enix was removing the option for players to choose between male and female characters were instead labeling the characters option A and option B. And it was reported by Ryo Kuta, Kutia uh, who noted the game, uh, no distinction between a male or female heroes. Ryo uh, Kudia also noted the game's characters are labeled uh, with A and B, and A version appearing like a male and B version appearing like a female hero. Uh, Rikudia even notes that A version is voiced by a male actor, uh, Hiyama Nobuyuki, and while B version is voiced by M Minaguchi Yuko. On top of the main character having their sex removed, from the character select, Ryo Kudia also reported that jobs will also no longer be distinguished by gender name. Oh, so instead of saying, um, you know, male man is male person, right? Instead of manhole cover is person hole cover. Isn't that another word for asshole? Okay, see so this basically right over here. Yeah, male and female. Now, this is a video that I do want to talk about. There's a video that. Censoring the lips? Why would you shit on Akira Toriyama's legacy like this? This pisses me off, man. This is so... This is, this is something that's not needed. This is something that's not needed. But yeah, I do want to check out this thing right over here. Right, I brought it up right over here, and uh, let's go ahead and read this right over here. And it says the reason, oops, uh, let me go. On. The reason why exposure of costumes in Dragon Quest Three needs to be reduced, as explained in an interview at Tokyo Game Show. I guarantee that they did not want this to be public. Here we go. Why isn't it playing? Okay, there was a lot of buzz around the costumes. It became a topic of discussion because they weren't exactly the same as they were back then, right? So this is the original one. Wait, hold on. Let, let, okay, uh, let me shrink my face a little bit. There it is. There's the original one. And uh, yeah, uh, they put in more clothing, which is stupid. Doesn't make sense in, ter in terms of uh, design and aesthetically as an artist, it does not make sense. So why would you add weird like boy shorts and like a top over her uh, her boob armor? Doesn't make sense. It's because boobs are meant to be free. Yeah, there were various regulations in place. Apparently, it's not allowed to show too much skin. I don't want to dig, dig too deep into that. It's simply about the user immersing themselves in the fiction going on an adventure. Now, here's the thing. It's funny that the person that's asking these questions or bringing up the questions is a female, right? And it's funny is because a, an Asian girl that's in, uh, in Japan with pink hair is not considered crazy woke. Right? She just considered a cosplayer. But yeah. What's wrong with it? <laughs> See, I don't really understand it either. Damn. Damn. 
<laughs> it's a game, it's fiction, and it's virtual experience. So as long as it's enjoyable, I think that's all that matters. Absolutely. Absolutely. Isn't the gameplay ultimately the more important thing than making... Oh, you got the meat bar inclusive. You got to make sure you don't sexualize the characters. I think, I think, I think what you can do is fuck right off. All right? As a big Dragon Ball Z fan and Dragon Ball enjoyer, I hate this is what they're doing to Akira Toriyama's legacy. If there's too much exposure, the age rating goes up. That I understand. All right? I believe this is supposed to be like E for everyone, not T for teens, right? I, I, I understand where it's coming from. So that is a very like good way to like, look, the reason why we did it is because we, because we want to make sure that everyone can play this game. It means that we won't be able to sell as much in the small ages, yeah. Rules vary from country to country. When trying to sell widely, there's a, the issue of having to comply with the strict, strictest regulations. I, I, I do agree. We never even thought about that in the past. Under the name of compliance, it's like an absolute god and evil disguised as good. That's wokeness summed up in one sentence. That is wokeness. Man. Holy crap, dude. Oh my God. That, see, this is why Japanese developers and they're so, they're, they're so much better than the ones here, man. That's, that's crazy. There's no such thing as content that, don't, that doesn't make everyone uncomfortable. That's true, right? You can never make any, everyone happy. So let's make our core fan base happy. And if you're not part of our core fan base, then it doesn't really matter too much, right? And that's how it should be, right? That's how it should be. But the thing is that of the fucking retarded developers here in the States are like, oh, we got to make it more inclusive so everyone can be happy, so everyone can be a fan base. It's like, no. If you make something for everyone, it's for no one. Because beauty and ugliness, good and evil, are different for everyone. Yes, and here's the thing. Hot and attractive, good-looking people is considered evil to woke retards that's is is i can't put it any more simply than that right beauty and attractive characters appealing characters is considered considered evil so they got to put in fat ugly people to feel like they are well represented that's insane there are a few things about the absolute that goes and nothing to be done. As long as you follow those, you are free to do the rest. Yes. There's a religious concept from the West, especially in America, that influences their approach to sex education, right? It, the, the funny thing is that the video game industry and like the anime industry, like the, like the entertainment industry, at least, right? They are not okay with sexualizing people who are underage. I get it. That's fine, right? Japan is a little different, right? But in, in the opposite end, they are okay with you sexualizing actual people and, try, and being okay with pedophiles. I... What? continue mm. their approach to compliance is really narrow-minded boom this
this old guy gets it, man. He's super based. Oh, man. Man, this, this, this Japanese guy knows what he's talking about. He should be in charge, right? I believe he used to be like an ex-developer. I'm not sure. When selling manga in America, everything had to be categorized by age groups. For Shonen Jump manga, they couldn't be sold unless they were rated for ages 13 and up. Because there's a risk of lawsuits, the company also has to get insurance. Doing business with such a ridiculous country is... <laughs> Doing business with such a ridiculous country is really frustrating. Oh my god. Bro doesn't care. He just said it. Man. Oh, America Jin des Baka. America Baka des. Oh my god, man. Oh shit. <laughs> because of that, Japan also gets negatively influenced. That is so true. Right? One of my videos I released with the whole uh uh still oh what's it gonna Square Enix no longer uh working with um Sweet Baby Inc., which is great, right? But here's the thing. Square Enix has an ethics department within their studios. So they're like, even though Sweet Baby is no longer a part of or working with Square Enix, let's, let's hope that is actually true. You still have this stupid ethics department that's inside of Square. That's that you need to get rid of that. Once you get rid of all the fucking garbage, woke bullshit that's influenced or freaking infiltrated your company, then you can actually start making games that are good. In Dragon Quest, you used to be able to choose between a male and female main character, but now you can't choose. Wait, wait. You can't choose between a man and a woman anymore. Right? And coming from, like, th these guys are boomers. And they're like, what the hell is happening with the world? Why is everyone such pussies now? We have to label them as top, type 1 and type 2. <laughs> I really wonder who's even complaining about this. Woke garbage human beings. Don't. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so dissonant, right? The thing is, yeah, it's one hundred percent. Like the, it's crazy, dude. Oh my god, but yeah, this, this like these two. I guarantee you, like, they, like, if there's an actual YouTube video of this, like, I wonder if it's going to have, like, woke people in the comment section saying that, oh, these guys, they're just out of touch, they're old, right? But yeah, uh, I'm glad they weighed in on it right over here. An interview with Tokyo Game Show alongside former uh, Weekly Shonen Jump editor-in-chief uh, Kazuhiko Torishima. Hori was asked about the changes made to the character designs, yep, which is great. As translated uh, by Value News, Hori responded, which basically he talks about everything, which is great. Uh, the thing is, they are ca they're, they're calling all of it out. Like, it's like, this needs to stop. Yeah, mo woke Americans. Woke Americans. Absolutely, man. See, and here, right over here, Elon Musk chimed in and says, this is insane, right? And he, like, this is, this, it's so good. It's so good. But yeah, this is, um... We have the richest person in the world, one of the most influential persons in the world, talking about this, which is good, right? He has, he actually has the power and the cap capabilities to change things, and that's the reason why X has actually been really good, right? He he got rid of like eighty percent of like woke Twitter, and it still functioned exactly the same way, right? But the thing is, if there are two older dudes that are saying this kind of stuff, there's a lot of people in Japan who are also feeling the same way and most of japan regardless of age sees this a stupid shizzle the small group of friends i have from japan poke fun of all the wokey trash yes right and that's why a lot of games that are coming out of japan china korea have been really 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 well received from the west is because we are fucking tired of it we're done but yeah uh we need more people that are like based like these two dudes going back into the uh you know gaming industry and and unwokifying it because as of right now, it's absolute dog shit. And I love that there are people who are in, in, in the game industry that are like, 
yo, do something, say something. You know, this is weird. I don't know why they're doing it. You know, like it is weird. Like who, who, who is, who is actually offended that they have a male and female? Right? Who is actually offended by that? Right? And you get like one percent of the entire world is offended by it. So the thing is that Japan is a very polite country. They don't like, you know, drama. They don't like confrontation. Right. So that's why when John, Johnny Sumali goes to Japan and says terrible shit about, you know, Hiro, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, like he eventually, you know, it's about time to someone punched him in the face and he went to jail. Right. So like there's a lot of dumb people like that. And then and, th and that's how they see us now. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, you guys are from America. You guys are fucking stupid. Right. And I'm, I'm glad I'm glad. And the thing is that for me, I'm such a small person that's working in the game industry. So what I have to say will just be, you know, a grain of sand you know, in a fucking desert, right? No one's gonna hear what I say is because I'm a nobody. But the thing is, I'm glad someone like him talking at Tokyo Game Show is saying something like this, which is absolutely awesome. We need more of it.